Welcome to the Crosslight Tutorial Movie. This is a 3D TCAD simulation of a gallium nitride LED. The first step is to create a new project and it well will work. We now layer file to represent the initial growth of our structure using the Layer Builder GUI program. We start the structure of the end doping layer ignoring the substrate. So we use the Layer Builder GUI to define the thickness of the layer. And then we specify the macro uh, corresponding to this material. So the 0% algan corresponds to gallium nitride. And we specify here the doping concentration. Uh, this is the concentration of the dopants, not the concentration of the activated uh, carriers. We also specify the number of mesh lines in the particular in that particular layer. We repeat the same procedure to define our barrier layer. Even though this material is gallium nitride, we're, all, we're going to use the INGAN macro so that this is considered a separate material from our end doping layer. Our next layer is going to be the Ingan quantum well. Here we define two sets of macro. The bulk material macro defines all parameters related to the electrical transport. The second macro defines all the properties related to the optical gain and spontaneous emission calculations. Because this is a quantum well, this macro defines both well and barrier parameters. Because this is an MQW region and the barrier and well layers repeat, we're going to save time by copying and pasting some of the layers we already defined. Our layer is going to be the electron blocking layer. This layer is made of algan. So we here we specify the aluminum percentage. As a reminder again the p-doping defines the unionized dopant concentration and not the measured whole concentration. We finish up with our last layer which is going to be the p-contact layer.
what we previously defined were the layer thicknesses and the mesh in the direction of the growth. So now we're using another command to define the extent of the simulation and the uh, mesh size in the plane of the wafer. We're now going to save the file, generate the mesh, We're not going to convert the entire project for use in our Semicrafter GUI.